So we just got the entire Travis Scott and Jordan brand collaboration lineup. Trophy Room just unveiled a Jordan collaboration we never knew about. And the first Yeezys without Adidas are now available. Welcome to Sneaky Sundays. So let's get into a release recap before we hit up that upcoming stuff. And we're going to kick it off with the New Balance 990 V4 1998 pack. We got three colorways. All were available through Joe Fresh Goods website. And uh, let me know if you managed to get a pair. We'll also mention that there is still going to be another release for both the intro and outro color. Away. That's going to be through New Balance and all of the other retailers on December the 22nd. Sky High Farms Workwear Cause and Nike Air Force One collection dropped and I actually didn't know but these things retailed at $350. Something else I didn't know about these things is that they are just regular Air Force Ones just with a customized Cause logo. So they literally just replaced the Nike swoosh. Of course the Nike Kobe 6 Reverse Grinches dropped and let me know if you managed to get a pair of those. It was pretty chaotic because a lot dropped on this day. The other release on that day was was the Powerpuff Girl Nike SB Dunk Lows. We got the pink, the green, and the blue. It was actually super fun because they did a scratch release on the Nike sneakers app. So it basically would load up and then you had to find this image and like scratch to reveal the pair of shoes. It ended up being first come first serve. So it was a little bit more interesting. Hopefully that managed to get rid of some of the bot entries. We had a pretty stacked release, but it's time to get into the upcoming stuff and let's kick it off with my man, Travis Scott. So last week we spoke about this whole thing that popped up. Basically there was a leaked Zoom call Damn it, Travis. Where Travis Scott and John McEnroe were having this heated argument back and forth debating the name of the actual shoe. And I think for the most part, when we first saw that, everybody kind of thought, yo, this is a leaked Zoom call and they're actually having some crazy arguments behind the scenes based on the name. But it turns out it was all fake. And not just the leaked Zoom call, but they went on an entire little back and forth. So after the leaked Zoom call, John McEnroe had a little fit check thing. You know those people on Instagram where they're like, yo, 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 tell me what you're wearing. And John McEnroe had this special pair of Mac attack, which had like Cactus Jack, but then like it scribbled out and then it put Mac there. And then he opens up his trench coat to reveal a custom t-shirt that was made with that same logo on it. So obviously seeing that most people immediately were like, okay, well they're obviously, if they're this prepared making freaking merch and customizing a whole pair of shoes, this has obviously been planned for a very long time. And then they kind of tried to do a couple different things where there's a video of Travis Scott spray painting over a John McEnroe row plaque. Also an image of Travis Scott next to his uh, Lamborghini Urus, which had Jack crossed out and then the Mac sign. So I guess they were kind of insinuating that John McEnroe basically uh, spray painted on Travis Scott's car. This whole thing is just a little bit weird. First of all, I feel like they could have done this over a longer period of time and it would have been a lot more interesting and believable. But this whole PR stunt literally lasted like a few hours. Now it just looks a little bit silly. Nobody really Really cares about it because we all know that it's fake. Either way, marketing is just getting so wild nowadays that they have to do all of this crazy stuff to sell a pair of shoes. But uh, yeah, I definitely wanted to let you guys know that uh, all of this is fake. After last week's video, I completely fell for it and I'm sure a lot of you guys did too. Either way, just a quick reminder that if you are after this Mac attack, the, the Cactus Jack John McEnroe a collaboration, uh, it's going to be dropping on the 19th of December. It's already loaded up to the Nike sneakers app. And the resale prices are looking insane, especially because this collaboration literally just has a backward swoosh on it. Nevertheless, in a little bit more exciting news, staying on Travis Scott, we just got the first looks at the entire upcoming Travis Scott and Jordan brand collaboration. Take a look at these things right over here. We've got uh, four different colorways at least. Uh, we've got a all over black pair, which looks like the Phantoms, the, the black Phantom Lows. Uh, we've got a black and white pair. We've got an all over sale colorway that I don't think we've ever seen. Uh, and then the one that we've kind of seen the most of, which is of course the mocha colorway with the gum outsole. Oh yeah, and then of course we've obviously got the uh, the olive pair as well. These are looking like it's going to be a 2024 release. I know that a bunch of different blogs, uh, sneaker blogs are all saying that it's going to be a holiday 2023 release, but honestly we're like, we're so far into December, I imagine all of these drop next year. All right, moving on from Travis Scott, we've got some trophy room news. So we've got a couple different pairs that were unveiled. Marcus Jordan went on to the Complex podcast and he was basically talking about the whole new sneaker that he's got upcoming, the Jordan 1 Low. And he also unveiled some brand new samples that we have never seen before. One that caught most people's eyes is this alternate version, this alternate colorway of the uh, the Jordan 1 High that they did. Although I think most people just prefer the one that we actually got. Nevertheless, this is not a bad colorway if they did ever want to release it in the future. We got to see some other samples as well, including an alternate colorway of the 7s that they did. This is a little bit more of a recent collaboration. Got to take a look at 
the Olympic colorway of the seven. But most notably, we are going to be getting two colorways of the actual released Air Jordan 1 Low Trophy Room collaboration. So this is the one that we've seen a lot of. This is the one with the black Nike swoosh. But we're also going to be getting one which pretty much looks identical, but it has a white Nike swoosh. We're also going to be getting kind of a switch up of material. So instead of the satin for the red that you find on the original pair that we saw, you're getting leather, which I think more people will prefer that. However, the white material, at least on the toe box, it looks like that is satin. So they've kind of swapped the leather around. Nevertheless, the release date for these pairs should be February the 15th, 2024. We just got some brand new on foot looks at the Nike SB Dunk Low Race Allele. This is something that we've been taking a look at for a while now. So I wanted to show you these updated on foot looks and uh, they're not looking bad by any means. I'm not a big fan of the beads and I'm also not a big fan of the like alternate colors that are on here. You've got like the navy Nike swoosh and then the purple one. But overall, I think it's an impressive pair of Dunk Lows. I think it's a solid collaboration. Uh, and these are going to be dropping at some time spring 2024. Just a quick reminder on the next pair of Kobe's that are going to be dropping. So if you took an L on those reverse Grinches, you still got a chance at another pair of Kobe's. In my opinion, these things are a lot more wearable. This is the Nike Kobe 4 Black Mamba. These are going to be dropping on December the 27th. I'm not entirely sure if they've loaded up just yet on the Nike sneakers app, uh, but there's some clothing that comes along with this, which is actually pretty dope. We've got a, a Kobe jersey over here with the Lakers all blacked out. We've also got a bomber jacket, which looks pretty dope. We've got some t-shirts. These things are right around the corner. And in my opinion, they're looking very, very nice. Again, December the 27th. Sticking with Kobe's, we've got some more images of the upcoming Kobe 6 Italian camos that are coming back next year. For the past few months, we've just seen a massive influx of a ton of different Kobe's that we're going to be getting. And this is one of them, the return of the Italian camos. So the images that you're looking at here is the 2011 pair. And then this one is the 2024 pair, which looks think it's pretty much identical as far as I can tell. At some point, 2024 summertime is the approximate release date. One more Kobe that recently just got leaked is the Nike Kobe 4 Girl Dad by Coastal coming summer 2024. I believe we had some rendered images of these. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I remember the by Coastal name. Uh, either way, these are covered in what looks to be an all over suede or nubuck material. Either way, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not bad. It's not my favorite. Oh yeah, it also says retail price over here is $180. Let me know what you think about these. We just got our first looks at the upcoming Jound and New Balance collaboration. This one's going to be on the 2002R, except this is a Gore-Tex version. It's going to have the upgraded, more waterproof or durable materials on it. It's also going to have uh, the lace lock system instead of just the regular laces. And the colorway is looking pretty mean. I'm not going to lie. I really, really like the kind of lighter gray with the black. Not a bad collaboration. I'm not usually a huge fan of Jound collabs just because they never really do anything much. They just put their logo on it. But these are very, very nice. They kind of follow along into that kind of protection pack type of vibe. Potentially, they should be dropping this year. Otherwise, it'll be early 2024. Sticking with New Balance, we got a brand new colorway of the Warped Runner, a pair of shoes that I'm actually a huge fan of. This is the Dark Mushroom colorway that's going to be dropping in the next couple days, December the 20th. They put an extra hairy, furry, soft suede on the upper, which I'm actually really liking with this colorway. Basically, black and mocha. I think it's going to be a pretty fitting color for New Balance. I've got the original colorway. I'm fine. I don't need to double up or anything. Last week, we got a huge dump of Jordan brand leaks for uh, next year, and we've got some updated renders of those sneakers. First one is the Jordan 1 High OG Midnight Navy, which is going to be dropping September next year. I know it's a mile away, but I did think that uh, this render looked pretty cool. If it actually came in this color blocking, I think these would actually do very well. Next, we've got the Air Jordan 3 TE X Dark Driftwood. These are pretty okay, but we did have a pretty solid render. And there's not too much information on these, except they're going to retail for $200 and it's going to be a woman's exclusive. I actually just got some first looks at the Air Jordan 1 Low OG Shadow that's going to be returning next year. And these things are looking pretty solid. It looks like a true return of the original. So we've got this shot over here. You can see kind of the leather. You can see the Nike swoosh if it's the right size. They're looking decent. I'm not going to lie. I would not mind a pair of Shadow 
out low, especially considering that anybody who does really want this pair of shoes, you're gonna have to go after like the 2015 pair, which is like almost a rack at this point. Speaking of bangers dropping next year, we've got some more actually good images of the upcoming Jordan 4 Military Blue. These are gonna be dropping April 2024. I think that release date has changed. Weren't they gonna be dropping in May? April the 27th now is the new release date. And uh, yeah, take a look at these images. Still not the greatest, but definitely better than what we had last time where like all of the suede looked like it was a completely different color, like sail or something like that. This blue is looking a little bit darker than I was, uh, you know, kind of expecting. Maybe it's just the lighting. I don't really want to judge too much about this pair of shoes before we get some better images. We know that they're supposed to be making these things exactly like the original. We've got a new release date, some brand new images, and uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Are you hyped for these things? All right, we've got a pretty massive collaboration that just got kind of leaked. It's only a very, very small leak, uh, but Supreme and Cortez are apparently going to be collaborating next year. Now, I believe the only thing that we really know about this collaboration is from this billboard, which was put up somewhere in the UK, I believe London. So yeah, it's literally just a red background. It says Supreme rules the world and obviously has the Cortez logo. And that's about it. We don't really know like if there's, you know, any more details on this collaboration. I'm not the biggest Supreme or Cortez guy. So this, you know, collaboration is probably not something that I'm going to be super interested in. Obviously Supreme and Cortez both have like cult followings. So I imagine for those people that maybe have a little bit of a gray area, but where they like both of these brands, this could be a pretty massive deal. This is the only leak that we have. If we get any more updates, I'll let you know. Right, since this pair of shoes was so incredibly hyped up with the first one, uh, I thought I'd add this one in here. We've got uh, a Ronnie Feig New Clark's Adidas Samba colorway on the way. This is going to be for Kithmas and it's dropping the 25th. So literally Christmas day. People love these things, man. The first ones that dropped, people absolutely went crazy. If you're not too busy, you might want to hang around and try buy this pair of shoes. We've got a release update for the upcoming Nike Dunk Low Cyber sneaker. These are dropping January the 12th. We spoke about them a while ago. It's a pretty interesting pair because it's super reflective. So it basically just looks like an all over kind of dark gray or black pair of Dunk Lows. However, when you hit it with the flash, you can see that all of the panels suddenly light up in kind of like that traditional color blocking. All right, let's talk about this Yeezy news because it's just such a chaotic roller coaster of craziness. So uh, let's jump in. So first of all, the Yeezy sock shoes drop. So we spoke about this last week. They kind of like fake loaded it up to a website for $100 along with a bunch of Vultures merch, which is his upcoming album. Uh, but now they've actually dropped and they are available right now. So this is Yeezy.com and you've got a bunch of things on here. This is all of the merch over here. The Yeezy socks are right over here. They're called Yeezy pods because they kind of fold up into a pod. Uh, they're $200. When these things first loaded up to the website, there was no size guide and the sizes were literally one, two, and three. So I'm sure everybody was completely confused with what size to get. He's also got use. If you click on the use tab on the website on your phone, you just get some basically some like news articles. I'll throw up a screenshot of what that looks like. But yeah, you get like a bunch of different news every single day. Either way, this is something that was in the works for a while now. So you now have use and new Yeezy clothing and socks. Now the controversy with the Yeezy socks is not over yet because it actually got pretty crazy. So basically the Yeezy socks dropped uh, and then just a couple hours later, Balenciaga announced their new shoes. Literally a one-to-one -one of the Yeezy sock. Now, however, they do have two colorways. Though that wasn't crazy enough. Well, uh, Ventmont's kind of joined the conversation here and basically updated their post. So they put up an image of their sock shoe. Caption reading, the original flat sock sneaker since 2019, engineered by Vetmonts, except no imitations. Like, yo, what the hell is going on? Now all of these people are talking about these sock shoes. If this is not some kind of like first idea type thing that's like super original or mind blowing in terms of design. You know, it is what it is. And I don't know why there's this whole war going on between Balenciaga, Vetmonts and Yeezy, uh, all talking about this freaking pair of sock shoes. I imagine that the Yeezys are gonna be the cheapest, uh, even though they're $200 for a pair of sock shoes. I just imagine Balenciaga's are gonna be like five, 600. Now, along with all of this controversy, of course, as you know, Kanye West's album, which was supposed to drop on the 15th, did not drop. Basically, they did a whole listening party, which was in Miami. They called it a rave. Uh, and then the cops shut it down because they had no license to actually hold this rave. So then Ye and everybody met in a hotel room
room and decided to have kind of like continue the listening party. They basically told everybody to be quiet while one of these people who have vocals on the album decided to literally record the vocals in this crowded room, just everybody was like being super quiet. And they were finishing up the album, like fully like editing it and everything just in this hotel room. It was crazy. And this was all live streamed uh, through, I think, Ye's manager. But then obviously as the night went on, Ye had a full controversial rant, uh, which is actually 15 minutes long. And he went over a ton of different things. And I guess at this point, it's kind of to be expected with, with Ye. He also exiled someone. He exiled some woman that was there who was speaking over him. And he he was like, you know what? You gotta be quiet. She continued speaking, so he was like, take her out of here. She, she's out, get out of this hotel room. So yeah, all of that went down, and then to cap off all of the Yeezy news, the new head of design at Yeezy brand is now Gosha Rubinsky. I've never heard of him before. Yeah, just know that there is gonna be plenty more Yeezys in the future. A pair of socks is literally just the first one, but yeah, it looks like they're kind of fulfilling a lot of the stuff that they were talking about for a very long time now. Another news, New Balance dropped a freaking cologne that smells like sneakers. So apparently they literally took that fresh brand new sneaker smell and then just bottled it. So the original scent has notes of leather, suede, rubber, cotton, and cut grass. I just thought that this was such a bizarre concept and I was like, damn, I'd actually really like to smell that for some reason. I'd like to see if it, you know, really does smell like a brand new pair of shoes. Anyway, this is actually something that you can buy. I think it's now available in Australia only. However, I don't know, it might have a wider release in the future. Next up, we recently got hit with a bunch of insanely rare shoes up for auction. First one is an Eminem's personally signed Encore Air Jordan 4. The estimated range that these were going to sell for is anywhere between forty dollars and $60,000. This is a size 10 and a half from uh, 2005 and it is signed by Eminem. So I thought, I don't know, I feel like these would go higher than just uh, 28K. The actual bidding is going to conclude tomorrow. Maybe it's gonna jump up between them, but currently 28K is actually surprising. Spike Lee's Golden Oscars Air Jordan 3 PE is up for auction as well. So this pair right over here, the estimated range anywhere between 15 and 20K. This one ends tomorrow as well. Finally, we've got a pair of Travis Scott's, which I believe is that, I don't know if you guys have seen that video of Travis Scott giving a pair of these to a fan who was like singing along with Travis Scott at a concert and then Travis Scott took his shoes off and gave it to him. That might be this pair. They're only for 4,750. I'm saying only, like that's not just a ridiculous amount of money. These were worn by Travis Scott. They do have a story behind them. Either way, this ends in three days. So that listing might go up in value. There's 23 bids currently. But that wraps it up for this week's Sneaky Sundays. Don't forget to subscribe so you can always stay in the loop of all of the latest upcoming sneakers. Sneaker. Click over there to check out another video.